This video is presented to you by Harawa Energy Group 2 with the title of Dye and Pigment Manufacturing. Dye and pigment is a natural or synthetic substance used to add color to something. It is widely used in various industries. The market of dye and pigment is forecast to increase for the next 5 years, with a CAGR of 5.46%. It is due to the increase of the demand in dye and pigment related industry. In 2017, Textile is ranked 11 in Malaysia's largest exported products. Economic potential analysis is done to find the most profitable process route to the three products. Synthetic dye is more consistent and stable. However, these materials are toxic and could cause harm if the waste is not treated. On the bright side, the abundant feedstock allows us to scale up. The high demand of textile gave us the opportunity to become a local supplier and place imported dyes, taking into account the competition from China and India. Not to mention that we are located at Bandar Baru Bangi, which is surrounded by some of the local competitors, but our location also allows us to reach our customers across the west of Malaysia. Next, we will move on to the process flow. The plant is divided into three sectors, feed preparation, process and drying for product purification. There is three production lines which include red pigment, yellow dye and brown pigment. Feedstock will undergo benzylization, diazotization and azo copying reaction. The annual production of red pigment is 850 tons. Then, yellow production of 850 tons. And last, 450 tons of brown pigment will be produced. Our estimated capital cost is around 130 million ringgit, which includes contingency, engineering, equipment, and offsite. Our estimated operational cost is around 68 million ringgit per year, and the factors considered are as stated in the pie chart. Over here is our CCR graph, which includes three scenarios realistic, pessimistic, and optimistic. By year 10, there will be a slight decrease in trend due to the expansion of our business. This is our economic analysis, which shows the five economic indicators of our three different scenarios. To sustain our business, we will invest in natural dye by year 5, and year 10 onwards, we will have expansion of our production line. We have done a sensitivity analysis on our product price range and inflation rate. In social sustainability, our company considers the aspect of residents, workers and customers. Residents are not within the buffer zone of 200 meters from the location of our company. Thus, residents' lifestyle will not be affected by our company. Furthermore, our company can provide more than 400 job opportunities for workers. To fulfill customer satisfaction, our company performs quality control to maintain good quality of our product. A detailed cradle to grave has been done to identify the possible environmental impact during the life cycle of our product. Carbon dioxide is produced during the transportation of products to textile industry. Dry ethanol and mine hydrochloride, a solid waste is produced, can be converted into value added product to the chemical industry. Otherwise, it will be sent to solid waste facilities. On the other hand, sludge produced from ETP can be converted into value added product to the fertilizer industry. Otherwise, it will be incinerated and CO2 will be produced to the environment. There are nine types of chemicals present in our effluent. Without treating these chemicals, these chemicals could pose a big threat to the environment. Here are some of the negative effects of dye effluent. Firstly, it could cause hazardous disease towards humans, it interrupts photosynthesis activities of plants, it increases danger level of aquatic animals, and lastly, it increases the COD, BOD, and aqueous toxicity of river water. To treat these chemicals, we are using the coagulation and flocculation method. There are four different stages of treatment. Firstly, from the preliminary treatment, large particles are removed. After that, the primary and secondary treatment are used to remove COD, BOD, and solids from the effluent. Finally, the sludge produced are dried and incinerated into ashes. To conclude, this is our current plan for our project. We also consider a few things to improve in the future. Replacing imported dyes, recycling wastewater, production of natural dye and semi-synthetic dye, and finally, business expansion. Thank you.